Hello and welcome to a very quick demonstration and run through of the ArcSight ESM solution with regards to looking at uh, particular notifications and alerts and doing a very quick investigation behind that. Now, uh, in a particular scenario, you probably receive some form of alert, uh, usually via email or some other mechanism that forces you then to, to come and have a look at the console, which is what we're looking at here. The important thing here is that the system is always driving to, to direct you in the direction of the highest severity uh, alerts as they are occurring. So we have a bunch of high severity alerts here. We can also escalate those accordingly and even send those to different notification groups accordingly. But I'm going to pick up one particular uh, event as it's occurred and do a quick investigation on that. So uh, very easily and simply just double click that and I can see the underlying events as they've occurred. So I can see there's a couple of uh, what we call base events and there's a, a top level correlation trigger which is indicated by the little lightning symbol here. The important thing is I can just click on the actual event and it shows me the relevant data for it. So I can see that this has come from some IDS IPS system. In fact if I scroll down I can see some further information that it's come from Snort uh, and I can even see the geographic information here as well uh, of what's going on. I can also click on the other event here uh, and understand what's going on here as well and I can see this has come from a firewall again I can I can very easily and look at that data as well I can see it's come from checkpoint uh, and I can see other information there as well um, so we can actually see there's been some sort of uh, making use of a uh, this particular vulnerability uh, and we can see some return traffic has accordingly gone back to so we've actually done a huge amount of, of correlation here to indicate that this is actually a, a, a some form of attack and there's also some re relevance to this as well so we're doing a full threat calculation on this as well but the important thing is we're actually prioritizing this correctly based on the fact that we've seen returning traffic going back out to the outside world so we know that something's occurred and we probably should do some further investigation of what's going on here. So the great thing with the ArcSight console is I can do some very quick investigation around that. So I can just right mouse click and just have a look at uh, the correlation trigger, so what was the rule that's behind that, or I can carry out an investigation to see what's occurring as well. I could do some other actions, for example adding to cases or even doing some integration commands, but in this particular example I'm actually going to look at the what we call event context channel. So I'm going to look at the events around what's actually occurred at this particular point in time. So it actually opens up another little tab for me to look at and I get the events that have occurred at that time. So I can see there's a, a mixture of events, a mixture of IP addresses, but this is what's relevant and what we've seen as actions around that. So I see a list of events which may or may not be that useful. What I can do is I can just highlight those and I can visualize those very quickly. So let's put that into an event graph which we can change the layout accordingly. But let's just take the default one for a second and suddenly we can start to see some of the information of what's going on with regards to uh, the actual events themselves. Now this doesn't make a huge amount of sense to start with but what we can do is we can visualize and understand what's actually occurring here. So there's a number of events that have occurred. We can see that red indicates an attacker, uh, the little light blue indicates some sort of reference or service or a port or a type of event and then the destination uh, of the particular event. Now what we can actually start to see now is that, that, that we can see that there's two sets of attackers looking at uh, internal network ranges for example. So we can see this is uh, using some accepted communications through to this host uh, and also there as well. It's also then try to access this other server as well. So this is suddenly starts to get very interesting for me to do an investigation and drill down into. And of course at all points I can do that. So I can actually start looking into uh, and, and looking at some of the events that have occurred at that particular time. So again I just a right mouse click. I can drill into those events and start understanding what's actually occurred from those particular events as well. So suddenly now I'm looking at the, the underlying events that have triggered all of these uh, and understanding what's actually occurred. So we can see there's a whole bunch load of things of occurring here with regards to uh, logging into FTP servers. We can see a bunch load of uh, compromises uh, and other events that have been triggered accordingly. So suddenly we've now got a much greater picture and understanding of what's actually occurring across the infrastructure and I can now start to narrow down and indicate what the actual event uh, uh, that's somewhat triggering some of this to start with and actually scroll right the way down we can see some of this and ultimately it seems to start with some sort of internal log on uh, to a particular server and we can we can see what's going on. The important thing is here is that at all points we've always got the option of having what we call this integration command 
So we can actually just bring up, we could integrate a number of different tools and mechanisms here. So there are a number of integrated as standard, but what we could do is we could integrate that with our uh, firewall, our tipping point IPS, or another service to actually do things like uh, actively kicking off users' uh, IP addresses, making dynamic configurations. Now that's a manual process, but of course we could do that as even as part of a rule trigger and actually kick that off accordingly uh, and prevent any further elaboration of what's actually occurred. The important thing is that we've got a lot of this track of information Information. So now we've got the information that allows us to do the investigation uh, and triage of the actual incident at hand. But that's a very quick introduction and run through of the uh, scenario there. Of course, there's further steps to do with incident handling and so on, which I'll deal with in a later recording. Thank you very much.